we've created an, uh, a music app that allows anyone with no musical knowledge to instantly be able to play and create beautiful music. Uh, the default sound is piano. We also have guitar, bass guitar, strings, drums, and two synths. The app is for everyone, but our main users are children, teenagers, and people who make music. Get This is a digital platform that finally enables viewers to shop their favorite entertainment through seamless environment, whether it's on an iPad or um, desktop. 82% of women that we have um, spoken to, we run a panel of about 1,400 women, have expressed an interest in shopping, particularly their favorite TV shows, Scandal, Revenge, Nashville, um, in the old days, Sex and the City. Um, and brands are always looking for new ways to engage with their audiences. So what we do is we put them together. We enable brands to connect with consumers and the entertainment that they love. And IMDb is great if you want to see Ryan Gosling's credits, but you're not going to be able to actually find someone that you can work with. So we made FilmZoo. FilmZoo is a platform that you can find filmmakers, you can post your projects, get involved with, in events, and it all in a simple and dynamic experience. Our mission statement is that we believe that every day there exists the perfect place for you to party, dance, or relax, and you can count on us to help you find it. Many of you may experience the same problems that I had that right now it's just really hard to figure out where do you, where do you want to go in the evening? You only have a few hours, maybe you're planning, you're going to take out a few of your friends. You just want to make sure that the place you're going has got a good vibe. You may have turned to services like Yelp, but because they have a sponsored review model, a lot of the content and photos you're looking at are for, could be months, could be years old, and a lot of it doesn't really help you figure out what's going on right now. And so that's why we made Parsoco. We're dedicated to building positive communities, international communities around sharing music and discovering music. The DJ in the front and center has chosen this specific song, and when the song ends, the next person in line's track will play. So it's a way for people to discover based on similar interests, either that genre of content or uh, theme, and enjoy it with people synchronously. I am the founder of Laudville, a social entertainment platform for sharing and discovering movies, TV, music, and books. Frequency is all about a tuner. It's a personalized selection of channels created from internet video just for you. It's personalized based on what you watch, based on what you don't watch, based on what your friends are streaming to you through Facebook, through Twitter, through topics you're interested in. So we're gathering, we're taking a look at 40,000 transaction, video transactions a second, processing all of that and providing the best videos out of what's there in real time directly to you on the screen you want to watch it on. that an average half-hour sitcom used over 835,000 sheets of paper and drove over 17,000 miles in one season alone. This is how a multi-billion dollar industry is coordinating its assets? We looked for a better way and there wasn't one, so we decided to build our own. Welcome to Cinecore. Cinecore is an elegant software solution that links hundreds of cast and crew members and keeps them perfectly organized and seamlessly updated uh, during the uh, productions of all sizes, small and big. What we're looking to do is create bigger, better, more robust uh, research for the film industry. So basically what we're going to be doing is collecting biometric data. We've got um, some screen vision information that goes and captures a, a snapshot of the face and we're doing some really basic uh, Dem demography on them. We're just picking male, female, roughly what age, roughly what ethnicity. We are the loyalty rewards platform built for gamers by gamers. So basically how that works is just like an old school arcade where you go into the arcade, you play a bunch of games and you get tickets across all the games. You save up your tickets, you walk over to the prize booth and you can redeem something from you know, any little action figure or whatever it is that you save up for. You get something, you walk away with something in your hand of value that you chose, that you earned, that you're excited about. Uh, so basically that's how Lootsie works. So we're a layer that can go on top of any app or any game that the developer then gets to set different checkpoints or achievements throughout the app 
It could be beat a level, reach a high score, run a mile, cross 10 things off your to-do list, whatever the developer sets. When the user hits those achievements, you'll actually get a little notification bar that says you reach an achievement and you get points. And you can take those points across one game to another with you as a user. Your points travel with you. And then you can go into our marketplace and our mobile app or at Lutzi.com and actually redeem them from things from your favorite brands like Starbucks, Amazon, Best Buy, Sephora, etc., movie tickets, airline miles. See, educational games are focused too much on learning and not enough on fun. Yummy Yummy Tummy develops educational games that are 90% fun and 10% learning. I know that sounds <laughs> counterintuitive, but kids like the game, so stick with it and learn more in the long run. Our uh, job is to inspire musicians to play more music by connecting them with compatible players in their areas. We've developed a proprietary matching algorithm where you can sign up and you're matched with, according to our unique formula for musical compatibility, with compatible players in your area. Saves a lot of time and effort, and we already have a lot of happy members. Find My Song is an online music collaborative platform for musicians to network with one another, create projects, and manage their copyright all in one place. So in order to network, you need a nice profile. We went beyond what SoundCloud and Facebook is doing by allowing musicians to add in a biography to tell their story, at the same time, in their skills, don't just say you play the guitar. Tell me who you're influenced by and what genre you play it in, and a video attached to it. And more importantly, we develop a search system. Syncio is the world's only non-biased, two-sided marketplace for licensing music. We have changed the conversation about licensing music. So now we are super serving the client, the people that are spending the money. And those people are the advertising industry, um, the game and app developers, film and television production companies. We um, ask them what they're working on. We ask them how much money they have to spend. We ask them what kind of thing they're trying to build. We have like, these cool slider things so they can describe what they're thinking. Um, that then creates the brief in the background with an algorithm. It also builds the license at the same time. And it notifies the professional music community who then suggests pieces of music for those clients. It was uploaded on Instagram every day. How can brands and media analyze these photos and leverage this content? And how can consumers enjoy and find this content? So to solve this problem, we have built a powerful real-time curation and search engine. What it does is it aggregates photos and videos from users and locations and different hashtags. It algorithmically curates that data and categorizes it. It removes the spam from this, this content and delivers engaging and relevant content to media, consumers, and to brands. So how do we make money from the subscription uh, fee we make through the enterprise model? BBC News signed up for the for our enterprise solution last week, and we are in talks with CNBC, Fox News, HLN, Montage Resorts, and a few more brands. As a user, I might have uh, the best music playlist in the world, and I want to share that with you, but if I'm on Spotify and you're on RDO, there's no great way for me to do that, and you're out of luck. From a business perspective, this means that if you want to engage with your audience, you're forced to go to all these different platforms or alienate more than uh, m most of your, your marketplace. The other side of that is great recommendations. Netflix can only recommend you what they have in their catalog and what they've seen you watch on their system. Amazon, the same. So as a user jumping to all these different sources, there's no real great way to see, uh, get an accurate recommendation there. So we're building MediaHound. We bring together all the sources, all the content across all devices. And with that, we're able to unite the brands, the artists, and the users for the first time. What we actually created was a real-time platform where everything is in sync regardless of what you're listening with. So if you listen with Spotify and your friend uses YouTube and gets their music for free, you can enter into the room and listen together, be in the same space in real time, chatting, enjoying the music together. When I joined SoundDrop in a Q4 of last year, we did eight artist events in that entire quarter. And last month, we, we did 45 artist events. And these are with artists like uh, Robin Thicke, Imagine Dragons, Enrique Iglesias, Owl City, and so on. More than 200 so far this year. 